TCM.com or call 1-888-9-TCM-SHOP. Hi there, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. The 2015 baseball season is winding down. Congratulations to the Oakland A's for their stunning second half resurgence as they surge toward the playoffs. Look, I'm writing this in early July. A boy can hope, can't he? Next week, players from 10 teams will move into the postseason, but most ball players will go home to their league mandated official baseball player offseason of hunting and fishing. That's what like 92% of baseball cards produced in the 1970s said. In the offseason, Ted enjoys hunting and fishing. Few ball players, I suspect, will spend the offseason as the characters in our next film do, singing and dancing on stage. From MGM in 1949, it's the musical Take Me Out to the Ball Game. The story is set near the turn of the last century. Two players on a fictional team, the Wolves, played by Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra, also happen to be accomplished singers and dancers. Gene Kelly, as we know, was a gifted singer, dancer, and choreographer, but Kelly aspired to do even more. He wanted to direct movies, and to that end, he and his creative partner, Stanley Donnan, approached MGM producer Arthur Freed, pitching him on the idea of this baseball-themed musical. Well, Freed loved the idea and started making plans to produce it. But instead of naming Kelly and Donnan as his directors, Freed brought in Hollywood legend Busby Berkeley. Fifteen years earlier, Berkeley had been the toast of the town, staging some of the most imaginative musical numbers Hollywood had ever seen. But since then, Berkeley had fallen on hard times, and he needed the work. Being an old friend, Freed helped him out, though this became the last film Busby Berkeley directed. From 1949, also featuring Esther Williams and Betty Garrett, here are Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra, the Bryce Harper and Andrew McCutcheon of their day, in Take Me Out to the Ballgame. Thank you. 